Hello, my name is Eric Jacobson, and I am so honored and excited to be the new music director of the Orlando Philharmonic Orchestra. I knew from day one that I really wanted to be here. You know that feeling where you kind of don't admit to really wanting something because you're scared it might not happen? Well, I knew from day one that I wanted it. I wanted to be here, part of this amazing, vital community. and. I, and I put myself out there because I would have been really sad and I feel so lucky to be a part of this great orchestra. I'm so excited about all of the concerts we're gonna play, all the programs we're gonna do, the seasons we're gonna plan. I can't wait to get to know all the musicians better. I can't wait to get to know all of you better. Uh, I, I'm really excited about all the programmatic possibilities and all the different spaces in Orlando to play in. And I think in general, there are so many ways to program a season, so many things to talk about, so many ways to tie pieces together, but I think there are four really basic things that excite me about programming in the future. First is that I'm, you know, I come from the classical tradition and there are these pillars, these heroes like Beethoven and Mozart and Haydn, Schubert, Bartok, Prokofiev that I cannot wait to perform with this orchestra because I, I know I know from, from getting to work with them in, in the last year how much potential and amazing uh, possibilities of collaboration. And I know that the second I get to know people better, it's exponentially more powerful of, of an exchange musically, both with the orchestra and the audience. Um, I'd say the second thing is collaboration with soloists, with guest artists, also from within the orchestra as soloists. I'm a chamber musician. I grew up playing string quartets and chamber music, and there's something uh, of, of the intimacy of chamber music and orchestra uh, that, that are totally the same. You know, you have that dialogue between two people or 20 people or 100 people, and hopefully that causes like this incredibly intimate environment that we could all be a part of. Um, third, I'd say, I was so impressed and so excited that two of the pieces that, that I performed with the orchestra in the last year uh, were by living composers, Osvaldo Goliath, amazing Argentinian, now living in Boston composer, and the Chinese composer, uh, Zhao Ping. And I remember after both of these concerts, people just being so excited about being able to hear these new pieces and really being able to embrace the idea that classical music is alive and well here in Orlando and around the world. And um, the idea of giving birth to new pieces here and creating a version, a concert version of something that could then go on and be performed elsewhere in the world is so exciting. And the fourth thing that I really think about in uh, in programming is some type of a through line that we can all grab hold of. Um, and I think that manifests itself next year as heroes. And who is the hero that we might look to next year? It's Maurice Ravel, the amazing French composer from about 100 years ago from the last turn of the century. Someone who I have been so excited to play, always. He's one of the most truthful and honest humans. You could hear it in his music, you could see it uh, in, in, or you could read it in his writings or his quotes, and you just feel it from the person. Everything he stood for was honest and, and beautiful. With the incredible musicians, dedicated board, and totally fearless staff, the Orlando Phil is so poised to have a huge impact in the cultural life of Orlando and Central Florida. There are so many possibilities for this organization to continue the incredible growth within the community. It was actually the, the main reason why I was so proud to get asked to be here. The second I arrived here uh, about seven months ago for the first set of concerts, I, I felt embraced, but also I felt led. I felt like everyone on stage, off stage, knew the goals and the mission of the organization. And I can't wait to be a part of that that wave moving forward. I'm so looking forward to an incredible first season of music making. I can't wait to meet all of you. Thank you so much for having me in Orlando.